When society collapses, and trust me, it will, you'll see the same meme over and over. A guy buried under $3,000 worth of gear, shivering like a popsicle in a blizzard. Why? Because he treated survival like online shopping, lightning fast checkout, and zero understanding of what actually keeps you alive. Stop buying products. Start learning principles. Today, we're ditching bug out bags full of stuff nobody remembers how to use and learning the survival hawks that actually matter. You ready? Rule number one, survival isn't about stuff. It's about what your stuff teaches you. Think about it. You could buy 10 tents, but if you don't know how to read wind direction or manage moisture in a shelter, you're still sleeping like a soggy burrito. Memorize principles. Heat moves from hot to cold. Moisture kills insulation. Wind steals heat like a thief with a coupon. Once you understand the why, every gear choice suddenly makes sense. Next, people think you heat a room by turning up the heat. Wrong. You heat a room by stopping the cold from entering. Airflow is a silent ninja. It steals warmth even if the air is still. Seal drafty doors. Block cracks under windows. Heck, throw a towel under that thing. You don't heat the air. You trap it where it's already warm. Sleeping on the ground? Congrats! You just gave up half your body heat. That floor is a heat vacuum. It drinks warmth like it's at an all-you-can-absorb buffet. Stop giving it access. Build a barrier. Leaves, foam, cardboard, a spare jacket. Anything that stops your body from touching that cold, cruel world. Heat doesn't just disappear. It's stolen. Block the thief. Now, let's talk water. Water doesn't just make things wet, it actively pulls heat out of you. Wet clothes, goodbye warmth. Sweat inside a sleeping bag, bye-bye heat retention. Your goal isn't just warmth, it's dry warmth. So find ways to stay dry, or you're just wearing a chilly sauna suit. And fire. Fire is power, but it can kill you. Running a heater in a sealed room during a blackout sounds smart, until carbon monoxide becomes your unexpected roommate. You need ventilation, not just heat. Think of fire as a trade. You gain heat by losing oxygen. Do it wrong and you trade cold for something much, much worse. Learn airflow. Respect combustion and never hope your heater is safe. Prove it with science. This brings us to a huge mistake. People heat air. That's like trying to keep ice cream cold in a pizza oven. Air has almost no energy storage. It warms fast and cools faster than a meme goes viral. Instead, heat thermal mass, stones, bricks, even jugs of water. These things hold heat like a rechargeable battery, ready to release that energy slowly, long after the fire goes out. This is how the ancients stayed warm without power. This is how you survive, not with screams, with science. Last survival myth. You don't win by hiding forever. People think survival equals bunker, but your biggest enemy is bad positioning. If you can move to a better location, a windbreak, a spot with sunlight, a place with natural thermal insulation, you don't just survive better, you survive easier. Sometimes the best shelter is just the next slope over. So stop buying comfort and start learning the laws that make comfort work. Modern gear looks shiny, but survival is a physics game, not a shopping spree. If you wanna last when society stops working, you don't need more stuff, you need more sense. Which one of these survival hacks surprised you the most? Let me know. I'd love to compare some real survival wisdom.